Personally, like I said, I that was unbelievable, dude! Oh my goodness! I'm such a beast, dude. So I've been wanting to make this video for a while. I've just been busy and obviously learning about everything with this laptop takes a little bit of time. Because I haven't... While I have been playing on PC my whole life, I've never been, you know, into the high-end stuff like this. This is my first step in that direction. And I will say, so the, the link to this laptop where I got it at Best Buy is in the description. You can check that out. It's a great deal. I highly recommend this thing if you guys want a laptop. And my goodness i'm i'm definitely impressed thus far i want to give a couple shout outs to iron wolf and icy rhythms for helping me get eased into things and thus far i've definitely been enjoying myself one of the craziest things and i really didn't think it would be this impactful has been playing games at like 144 frames per second <laughs> as you can see in this gameplay with halo i really didn't think it would be that impactful but you can actually feel it dude 60 to 144 I really didn't think it would it would surprise me as much as it did so now I can totally understand where these PC elitists <laughs> like that video Black Bond always posts about you know 60 is definitely playable but it's not ideal <laughs> now I can actually understand where these people are coming from it's crazy and it's funny because I remember back in 20 15 I believe it was maybe 2016 but I think it was 2015 there was one day where on PS4 I was playing a bunch of games all day long and I played the Uncharted collection for a little bit and that's at 60 frames then I went and played Call of Duty for a little bit and that was 60 frames and then when I went to play Destiny at 30 frames that was the first time where I realized what the PC fans talk about with like 30 frames being a slideshow it genuinely felt like that and I was in shock I couldn't believe it so <laughs> my goodness dude thinking about that and then seeing games run this smoothly it's crazy it really is impressive so overall you know being a laptop obviously it can get a bit hotter and some of the gameplay you'll see in this video with Halo Actually, I don't know, I'll split up gameplay for a couple of videos here with the, the PC footage. It's Halo 3 and Grand Theft Auto 5. With Halo 3, towards the end of this match, I've been playing stuff for like an hour or so it, it, at max settings and everything, so it was a bit hot. You can see towards the end of the gameplay, it does get a bit hot, but I generally haven't had any real issues with this laptop thus far. The only thing that I can say has actually been a bit of a problem has been for some reason with GeForce Experience's recording feature, I can't record the, the normal display whenever I want to. I can use Shadowplay to record gameplay from games that are supported, and that's how I recorded this stuff, but the normal screen display, for some reason, I just cannot get it to work. And so, and I've tried out a bunch of different things because I saw people online are also having some issues with it, but I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna call up Nvidia and see what they have to say about it because it's way easier to use the, the GeForce Experience recording than OBS. With OBS, this didn't happen to me like five, six years ago when I'd recorded some gameplay on PC. So I don't know, maybe I'm messing something up now. It's been a while since I've used it. But with OBS now, if I, like the same gameplay from Halo 3, I'd recorded it with OBS. And instead of being at around 144 frames the entire time, it was, so this is obviously the cinema mode that you guys are watching, but I had recorded it live with OBS. And instead of being at 144 frames when playing it there, with OBS recording in the background, it was at like 100 frames. So it was a huge drop. And I don't know exactly what that's about. Like I said, I, I'm still learning as I go, but the GeForce experience recording is definitely easier in that regard. And yeah, as far as recording goes, if you guys have any, any information, definitely let me know in the in the comments. And so far, the games that I've got, I have tons of games. I've been, you know, building up a PC library for years with all types of games that they would give away or, you know, certain games that would be on sale. Like, I played a bunch of Bad Company 2 years and years ago when I got that at a Steam summer sale. So things like that I would get or... Like Portal 2, I got the PC version that got bundled with the PS3 version. So, and my sister had played it on PS3 years ago. We did the co-op together. 
And so eventually I'll go through it on PC on my own and see what it's like. And as far as games that I'm really playing now, obviously the Halo collection. I've always enjoyed Halo, so I'm definitely excited for Halo Infinite. That looks really nice. And I've been playing a lot of the Master Chief collection on... Oh, I also got Outriders that got bundled with the laptop. I'm not sure if they've still got the deal as I'm recording this. You'll see when you click the link. But, so Outriders is kind of cool. In that, I would get generally around, if I remember correctly, I think it was 90 to 100 frames generally with everything maxed out, like ultra settings and everything. So that's pretty good. And with Halo 2, I didn't have any trouble getting up to 144 frames. Generally, if you had everything maxed out on that, I believe it was around 120 frames. And as far as the Microsoft Store, I got Gears of War 4, and that's definitely been fun. And I also got Sunset Overdrive. And I want to thank Iron Wolf for telling me that the game is legitimately good, because I, I always thought the gameplay looked boring. And when I saw that they had it on sale, I asked him, I was like, how is it? And he told me it's really good. So I got it, and it was only five bucks on sale from 20, I believe it was. And I am definitely impressed with that game. If it does come to PS5 for all the PlayStation fans that follow me, I think you're definitely going to enjoy it. I really, really like the game. It's already one of my favorite games ever, but I mean, it's just, it fits my personality. So, so Sunset Overdrive has been great. The one weird thing that I don't know about, and I haven't looked anything up about this, so maybe, I don't know if there is anything online, but with Gears of War 4, something weird that happens, I use the PS4 controller on the PC with the the little DualShock 4, you know, application that you can download where it converts it in different programs from being a PS4 controller to like being an Xbox controller. So I don't know if that has something to do with it or what, but for some reason, I don't have any issues with any other game, but with Gears of War 4, it's like everything is double-clicked when you push something. So when doing the reload minigame, it immediately cancels out, and so I might just like click the, the key on the keyboard to do it, you know, instead of doing it through the controller sometimes, because it can just be kind of annoying, and I don't know why that is. So if anyone has any idea let me know about that. Like I said, I haven't looked into it. I just thought of it right now. And it doesn't really take away from the game. It's just something that periodically happens and is kind of annoying. But yeah, thus far, I'm definitely enjoying everything. And with Gears of War 4, the benchmark test, it runs, again, everything maxed out. I get 144 frames easily. So yeah, everything's going nicely. The only issues are, like I said, the the GeForce uh, experience recording, and for some reason, like the double click thing with the controller on Gears 4. I really don't understand what that's about. But other than that, everything's been going great. You get, I believe it's a month of Game Pass for free. I still haven't taken advantage of it. I have like three years to use it up. So at some point, I'll use that up to go through like Gears 5 and Alan Wake when they put that back on Game Pass or something. So, yeah, that's a, a summary of everything off the top of my head. I definitely recommend this laptop if you're all looking to get one. And I'm pleased with it. I really am. So, and like I said, it's at a great price. I saw, I think other websites had it for like 14 or 1500 bucks, and through Best Buy with tax, it's like 1200 So, and it was cheaper earlier in the year. I kind of wish I would have gotten it then because it was 50 bucks cheaper than it is now. But... And it's been at this price for the last couple months since I got it. But I think that covers pretty much everything. Let me know what you guys think in the in the comments section. You know, yeah, just give me your thoughts on this because I know my channel has primarily been a pro PlayStation channel over the years. So let me know what you're all thinking about this stuff and how do you feel about the next gen consoles? Because for me, thus far, there hasn't been anything that's really interested me aside from Ratchet and Clank, and especially. When you think about the fact that so many of these new PS5 games are cross-gen and they're 70 bucks, I'm not pleased about that at all. So, I'm disappointed for sure with some of the stuff that Sony's done as of late. I've already talked about that. But, we'll see what happens going forward. In a few years, I'll definitely get a PS5, but I'm not in a rush. I, th there's just not that much that's 
that I'm excited to play right now that's coming out and I have such a big backlog on PS4 anyway and some stuff on PS3 and 360 so plus like I said all this stuff on PC now I'm playing Sunset Overdrive fairly often you know Halo and Gears multiplayer all the time and Grand Theft Auto 5 this is the first Grand Theft Auto I've ever played because it always looked boring to me and Epic gave it away for free so I might as well give it a shot and thus far it is kind of cool but you know I haven't really gotten that much into it so we'll see we'll see how it is going forward anyway that's it for this video everyone thank you for watching and keep it frosty <laughs>